Alrighty, yo, what is going on? If you're your boy, Mr. DDG94, back with another reaction video today. We're going to react to top 20 R&B songs. The best R&B songs of 2010, man. So basically, this is going to be the last R&B video. We are not doing any more R&B going forward. There will be no more R&B going forward. We're only going up to 2010. I'm not going any further than that. I, I Like I said... R&B took a huge fucking nosedive, okay? Y'all took a huge fucking nosedive, okay? It, it, like, like, let's be real. What, what was, what was popping outside of Chris Brown, Usher, and Trey songs? What was really popping? Cause, Cause R. Kelly wasn't hitting like he used to. You know what I'm saying? Sadly, R. Kelly wasn't hitting like he used to. Wasn't making them songs that we was known for him making, you know what I'm saying? Uh, who else did we have after this time? We had Jeremiah, but Jeremiah was more of a feature guy. Bobby Valentino, more of a feature guy. We didn't really have nobody for a minute, man. It was just Chris Brown, Usher, and Trey Songs. That was it. August Alcina came along, but that didn't last very long. But anyways, though... Shout out to August Alcina, though. But anyways, though, entanglements. <laughs> anyways, though, let's get right into this, man. Top 20. Yeah, this is the last one, man. 2010. This is it. R&B. You get. I, I had to give R&B his flowers because R&B was totally disrespected throughout the hits videos. So before we go back to the hits videos, and R&B gets completely disrespected. Um, again. I just wanted to give R&B his flowers, man, because this is a genre that definitely deserves his flowers, man. Most definitely, all the all the R&B singers we have came across here throughout these these throughout the, a good chunk of these videos, going from the '90s to the to to this video right here, man. It's, it this was a great, this was fun, this was good. But now we got to go back to the hits, which means we're gonna have a lot of misses, a lot of eyes, a lot of. I hate these songs. Ah, I don't want to hear that song again. We're going to go back to that. Ah. It was a fun ride, though. It was a fun ride to step away from the hits and just listen to songs that you know was bops. Man. Just listen to straight bops. Oh, man. Especially 1995, 1996, and 98. Oh, my God, bro. And I'm not going to lie. 2007. 2007. <laughs> R&B wise, 2007, 2005, 2004, them, them, them may be the, the best ones of the bunch as far as the, the, the 2000s go. Now, 2008 had a lot of them, but it was just way better. It was just way better bangers in, in those earlier years that I talked about. But anyways, though, without further ado, let's get right into the video. It'll be the last time we're gonna hear some good music. I never heard this again in my life. I don't know who this man is. I thought this was sealed for a second. Climb on top of me Girl, you gon' think Girl, you gon' think Girl, you gon' think Girl, you gon' think You gon' think, think I am innocent What they talking about, man? Woo, my freshman year Y'all don't know my freshman year Woo, oh God How you doing? Baby, what you getting me to? I don't know what your name is Or who you your game is I ain't even without you Hey girl, how you doing? I have never seen nothing like you. Somebody that shit is your claim to fame, but girl, I ain't even without you. No, do 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 I want your body, your body, your body, your body. 
motherfucking goat is Winner. the motherfucking goat, nigga. Winner. That's what I'm talking about. That's why he's gonna be me. That's why he's the goat. The goat. <laughs> what allegations? <laughs> what allegations? What allegations? I'll just play. I'll just play. That nigga, that 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 nigga, that nigga had to go to jail. But still though, he still go. Still go. And I know you've been waiting for this loving all day. Daddy's home. This was a cool song till Nicky Park come on. Once Nicky Park come on, this song let's go. Tell you, dog, this song cool till you get to Nicky Park. It's a cool song to listen to, especially when you go to a party. But when Nicky Park come on, cut that shit. Shout out to Mary J. Blige, though. So in love, I found you finally and make me wanna say oh 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 my gosh You make me wanna say You make me wanna say Oh 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 I'm about to say, this sounds familiar. I was like, who is this? this sounds so good. Oh, it's here. John, hey, John he, this was arguably one of, hey, this was one of his best albums, bro. Way back. This is one of his best albums, bro. John he was on point with this one, bro. This is one of the ones right here. It's your birthday. I know you're thirsty. Say hi. I ain't gonna lie, this song, I don't I don't even know how this song, how we even let this song, how we even let this song get away with what it was doing. This song did not age well. How the fuck did we let this song get through the cracks? I, I just want to know, I just want to know, how the fuck we let this song get through the cracks? This song was not it, bruh. This song was not it. I'd rather listen to Pop Champagne than this. Oh, we pop champagne. We let this song slip through the cracks. This song, this song, I, bro, it's been a minute since I heard this song. Long ass minute since I heard this song. 
like 2011 since I heard this song. That's a long ass time. Bro. Say, whoa, whoa, you better take your My juices up to her. I'm moving on to something better, better, better. Everyone trying to make it work. Make me wanna say bye bye, say bye bye, say bye bye to her. Make me wanna say bye bye, say bye bye, say bye bye to her. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. This I, this is when I was on YouTube rapping on my old channel, which is now deleted. You'll never go back and find my old videos. You'll never go back and find my old videos. <sighs> You'll never go back and find my old vid videos, you bitch. You'll never go back and find it because I deleted that channel. <laughs> but... Definitely, uh, when this song first came out, I think this was the first, I think this was the, no, this wasn't the first vi rap video I did, but it was definitely one of the first. It was, I think it was like the second or the third one I did. It got, it got hella views for some odd reason. Everybody was like, yo, man, that was good, that was good rap, bro. I like your raps, bro. Cool raps, bro. Yeah, bro. That was tight, bro. I like that bar, bro. That was a bar. Oh, wow. Like, yo, y'all dig right. That shit was not good. I tried to make something wrong with Mildew, bro. <laughs> I was trying to make something wrong with Mildew, bro. I was rhyming anything at that time. I was on some Eminem shit. Lyrical, spiritual shit. Fuck out of here. Uh -huh. I used to play this heavy, bro. I'm saying though, man, I'm saying though, man, I'm saying though, look, man, hey, man, this was a fun fucking ride, bro, this was a fun fucking ride, but don't get it twisted, though, this channel that I've been doing all these uh, year, uh, uh, year by year R&B songs to, 
they got plenty of content on here so we gonna keep we gonna pretty much burn the content out over here as well so don't get it twisted y'all so don't get it twisted y'all we, we we still gonna we still gonna come back to the to you know we gonna always come back home but uh, for right now man i just want to keep um I just got, we got to keep the hit series going, man, because we trying to get back to the 80s, and once we get to the 80s, then we can start our hip-hop journey, um, we can, we can, we can, uh, I really wanted to restart the hip-hop journey in the 80s, because I want to go through the 80s as well, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to go to 94, finish up the 90s, then go back to the 80s. Do the 80s and then go into the 2000s and the 2010s with the hip hop. And then that'll take us back to the 70s and the 60s. And like I said, I hit y'all with a random live stream. And we're going to come in here and we're going to determine who had the best year, who was the best decade, what decade, what deck, what was the best year of each decade. And then we're going to pick them all up against each other. And we're going to decide once and for all. Who is the better fucking year, hands down? So we're going to do this, man. We got to. We listen to the music. We determine what it is. I know music is selective. It's, it's based on what you like. Everybody's not going to like what you like, and everybody's not going to like what that person likes. But I don't give a fuck. It's my list. I'm going back through it. I'm going to determine what was the best fucking year. In the best year, the best decade, uh, the best year for each genre. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, we gon' we gonna settle it once and for all, man. This is this is a series, bro. This is a series, but this is an actual series, y'all. This is an actual series I do plan on doing going forward. So yes, um, I may do another version of this series. After we finish this up, I'm going to do another version of the series, but I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. But you'll see down the line. But anyway, so, uh, man, this was a fun journey with the r and I can't wait till we get to the hip-hop section. Because once we get to the hip-hop section, I think that's going to be more fun. But we got to get the hits out the way first. We got to get the hits out the way first. Hits first, then we'll do the rap, you know, hip-hop and all that shit. But yeah, man, that's just going to about do it for this one. I will see you all in the next video. Till then, peace out. Salute to R&B. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, R&B was always my first love. More than rap, okay? My, my first love was R&B, so that's why I do these type of videos. That's why I did R&B first. So yeah, bye.